On the weekend of the 17th of September, 178 of South Africa's top fitness athletes converged on Grand West Casino in Cape Town to take part in what has quickly become the country's largest showcase of health and fitness. Sure, it's another level. Uh, everybody's brought their game. It was really a tough lineup. Because there are so many strong guys, amazing competitors. our one life. It takes a lot of sacrifice, a lot of hard work. It is about motivating people out there to be able to get into shape and get on stage and feel good about themselves. I like to inspire people and to get up on stage. It's show the journey these people go through. I think it is very misunderstood. Fitness SA is definitely SA's biggest fitness show by a long shot. Fitness SA is the only remaining fitness pageant in South Africa with a different theme every year. This year's being Thriller. Contestants vie to become winners in their individual categories, being judged on various aspects dealing with their overall physique, costume design and routine. Bernadette Bayer, Mr. and Miss Fitness Organizer and Competitor, has been running the competition for 11 years and is widely regarded as one of the mainstays of the fitness industry. There's a lot of other federation shows that are happening all over South Africa. Um, Pageant-wise, there was always another show happening in Joburg, which now unfortunately um, that one has stopped now. So now my show is the only one that is still running. Every year I don't want to do the show and my athletes, they are hungry for a show like this and they keep on telling me, please just don't stop. So I think for that simple reason, um, I wouldn't like to stop the show because it really does motivate people out there. Um, just from a female um, athlete, I come from a bodybuilding background and yeah, unfortunately you are, um, if I must say it, a piece of meat with a little bikini on because it is guys that organize the event. So from that aspect, my show is very elegant. Um, it's very feminine. The girls feel really good about themselves and that's what it's supposed to be about. Sometimes criticized for organization of the competition, she and others maintain that the competition is a vital part of the fitness calendar. This competition, I think it's, it's going from strength to strength. I mean, if I look at last year compared to this year, the number of entries have tripled in some categories. So it's unbelievable the growth it's had. Uh, Bernadette and her husband are doing a great thing running the show. And I think um, for, the, for the industry, it's helping it grow a lot. In the year 2009 to 10, I saw amazing growth in the industry, how many more girls have gotten involved. They were all very scared of weights and gymming and having too much muscle, but I see a huge growth in the industry. Tonight is now the final show, which is now only the top 10 of all the divisions that we had yesterday in the prelims. Now, to give you an idea, there was 40 guys in just the model division. We had about 14 model plus, so we had to cut down now to the top 10. So what the audience is going to see tonight is only the top 10 in all of the divisions. There's some of the divisions that we didn't have 10 in the division, so obviously they all would have qualified. But my bikini lineup and my model, model plus, those are the three divisions that are the biggest. So tonight they'll only see the top 10. They will also only tonight see the routines, which we didn't do yesterday at the prelims. So the routines are judged live tonight. Because it's Thriller, um, I immediately jumped to Michael Jackson and I tried to impersonate him. I think I did a good job. <laughs> um, <laughs> his moonwalk was amazing. <laughs> uh, I selected his main things, very flashy. Oh yeah, person. the fireworks. I got the fireworks going, I did the little kick, I did the moonwalk. I looked at a few YouTube uh, videos, he did this robot thing that I tried to imitate. I think I did a good job, I'm not too sure. There's this whole twilight craze at the moment. So I'm doing a vampire scene. And I'm really um, in it, I'm really trying to stick with the theme of the show, which is thriller. So I'm really trying to throw the audience and the judges. So I have a nice little twist in it. I did uh, Michael Jackson, so I wore Black hot pants, because the judges want to see as much as possible. With a leather jacket, a white hat and a white glove. Took my jacket off, 
did my thing on stage? Um, my theme round was The Mummy. What I did is I have this costume on underneath, and then I had my lovely brother come on stage <laughs> and unwind me. Boom, you saw a lovely mummy costume, and I did a few moves. <laughs> And yeah, that was it. The reason why I actually bring in the theme is just because we've got a show here, which we don't have in America. Unfortunately, we don't have the show that you'll see tonight. Um, and I want to keep it like that because that's what brings the audience. That's why we've grown from 500 audience to 2,000. Um, it just makes it more exciting. There are people that are favored. For your five minutes on stage, it doesn't, it's not always worthwhile. You know what, I'll take my chances. If they come to me and they want advice, I'm going to send them to my judges because I don't want to get involved anymore. Slim Lab, the science of slimming and beauty.